What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I know I haven't had any content on the channel for quite a while so I figured I'll uh, give you guys a little treat and kind of show you guys where I'm at with the build. Now, where am I currently and what have I done new in the engine bay? And as you see, not too much. Currently you see the, this intake right here. It's missing, that's currently at um, my boy's, uh, my boy Danny's uh, Fab This shop. Shop is called Fab This. Um, he's currently doing some changes to it. And then something else new I've done is that little vacuum block off uh, plate. It is pretty much a uh, 3D printed piece, but it does look very nice. Makes it look um, much cleaner and not have so many, you know, vacuum lines or whatever, you know, or caps and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm getting this intake pipe um, reworked, not like redone because it's already done, but it's getting reworked. I'm getting a new one for here. And it's going to be going this way, kind of away from all the heat as much as possible. And then I'm currently waiting on that. And then also on my last test drive, I was riding around and almost had a heart attack. Um, uh, I guess I would say maybe about two blocks, almost three from my house. I make a right turn and then I start hearing a bunch of clank 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 type of noise so <laughs> I freaked out and stopped thinking it was like the engine or whatnot and it turned out to be the stupid belt yes the serpentine belt and mind you it has it's been there I would say for over I would say four to five years if I'm correct it's been a while I was the one who changed it because I had a similar situation back then when I changed it where it had ripped off or about to rip off um, and started hearing the same noise. So I went ahead and changed it, but now it's been a while. And I guess obviously it's too old and brittle. Started ripping around and whatever piece was hanging and getting ripped off or starting to get ripped off was just hitting everything under. So imagine what went through my mind <laughs> but everything's good um i ended up getting here um what i did was cut that little bit of piece off from this section over here obviously cut it off reset it back into the wheels and the pulleys and all that stuff and got here um, when i got here i cut it off completely and the car has been standing here since to now so also, so here we go. We have brand new belt with a three year warranty. And then we got some Hitachi or Hitachi, however you say it, coil packs. They're brand new. Um, my advice would be to get them in, um, what you call it, Amazon. It's much cheaper than going with any other site like honestly um so we got four of those as you see four coil packs brand new belt and then of course we're going to change the spark plugs and then i got the iridium NGKs, one step colder, I believe. I hope so. Yeah, hope I picked them on, picked them right. But, anyways, so we're well. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that. But um, yeah. And then for those of you who want to know, yes um. 
car is pretty much done I've driven it around just testing it and stuff like that and it does get into boost um, it drives and performs lovely the blow-off valve sounds freaking sick and yeah so that's where I'm at um, let's get started on this all right so I get started on the belt first since I'm gonna get dirty the most with it you know what I'll take this watch off not scratch it or get it dirty good put that there right quick throw that off to the side oh right in the box perfect and then for the tensioner is a 14 14 yeah number 14 wrench or socket but you won't get a socket in there so get a wrench All right, so I'm pretty much done. Now I just gotta check, make sure they are seated correctly on each uh, wheel, pulley, whatever. Um, but it does look good. Sitting where, where it should be. I checked the bottom already. It looked perfect, tensioner, all that. I'll check in there now. All right, so I got the belt already done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move to the spark plugs and the coil packs. Now mind you, these coil packs have been here since I bought the car. Now obviously they haven't changed, they haven't been changed by me. They have been in here since. And you can tell whoever changed them, got them from the junkyard, obviously from the marks, the pen marks, and they named them one, two, or whatever, one, two, three, four, or one, three, two, four, or whatever. Anyways, um, I had my friend's tuner come by to try and tune it since the Apex is already in there. And we were having a little bit of issues, but before we got started, um, he checked all spark plugs, and the only one that kind of looked a little bit bad or looked bad was uh, coil pack one and uh, spark plug one. The rest were fine, but we're gonna go ahead and change them all for now. That way we have no issues whatsoever when we go back to tuning. And I do not understand why my lights are turning off, but anyways. Let's get to show coin. All right, so let's grab coil packs and the spark plugs. All right, there we go. Get them all out of here. And done. And that over there. Now we got all four coils there and the spark plugs. All right. So first things first. Right. 
these. And this is what I was saying from, let me see what the tuner was telling me. There we go. You see how there's no, no burns anywhere around the white. And then if you look at this one, it's burnt. So let's get to changing them. Garbage. Easy as that. So now on to the coil pack. And holy shit, I'm sweating. But let's continue. All right, so now after doing the belt, the spark plugs, now we have left the new Hitachi coil packs. Let's unbox these. And for those of you that don't know, let me see if it focuses. There, there we go. It's part number IGC0008. Brand new. That look perfect. And now, let's start slapping them on. All right. And the last one. Something as simple as coil packs, brand new coil packs, and new spark plugs will always make the car run better. Especially if the old ones have been in there for quite a while. I've been dying to change these coil packs and never did it. But finally, and they freaking look good. Now, I'm not a fan of leaving the stickers on top of them, so I'm going to try and see if I can peel one off. If it comes off easily, I'll do the rest of them. And, yeah, all that's left is hopefully whenever I get a call from Danny, um, whenever he finishes the pipe and all that stuff, um, slap that on and see if we can tune it some and have some fun finally honestly I've been dying to have some fun in this car everything is pretty much done ready to go car sounds awesome and yeah so let's get it started and see how it sounds All right, so as you see, the car turns over and it turns on fine, but it's not staying on because there's a bunch of vacuum leaks. Uh, for one, there's a line going to the catch can that's not on. The rest of the piping is not there. So I'm not gonna keep forcing it to stay on. You know, I don't wanna hurt anything. So it's now the next day. And finally, we got the call from Danny at Fat This that the uh, intake pipes were done and the modifications were all set. And unfortunately, I was at work and I wasn't prepared to record and I didn't have my camera and equipment. So we're picking up from here. So I guess to accelerate the process, I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on a time lapse, get that entire intake piping done. Forgot to show you guys, this is how the intake pipe look now. And these are the modifications. So if you guys can tell and can pick this up pretty quick. Um, I moved the math sensor bung or however you want to call it. 
moved it over to a brand new uh, what uh, turbo intake pipe uh, which I didn't have before I only had this piece or that uh, short of a piece with the um, filter there and then so yeah the math was moved from there to here now this is cleaned up all right so we finally have the car completed here's how everything looks looks really nice math is there blow off valve over there and at the beginning just thinking about it i wasn't a fan of like making the turn and all that stuff but i think it's unique it's a little bit different it sits the filter much more over here so at least it you know whatever fresher air colder air that comes through that side and the fender and all that it can uh, at least catch it even though i plan on doing some ducting for air to go straight to that because if you guys remember i have these things here and they funnel air as you see let me see there you see and i can attach any like hose big ducting hose or whatever to it and direct it straight to the intake and feed uh, feed it some cold air but yeah i guess all there is left to um to do is turn it on and see how it does because the issue before was that since the math was located over here i guess i don't know if it was pressure or whatnot but um it, the car will turn on fine and stay on and i would go and drive it but after a couple of minutes whenever i came to a stop it would want to die and it would idle up and down up and down you know and kind of go a little bit all over the place and sometimes a lot of the times it would shut down so hopefully that takes care of the issue of moving the math over here to the turbo intake which i know and shout out to everybody in the chat i know um you guys told me and i honestly forgot with everything i had going on you know um that i'm not honestly gonna go into it's just more personal stuff and um the day i brought this over to danny at fab this um i honestly forgot to tell him where to put certain stuff so i kind of left it to him and um but anyways everything's taken care of uh correct spot other than the blow off valve i think i like it there um it makes it very easy and less of a line to run from right there to the vacuum block if you see that one on the right it runs straight right there to it very simple and i mean it's working fine so now i guess we're gonna turn it on take a little drive and go ahead and um see how it does guys cars turning on nice and smooth I can already tell it made a difference changing the map location um, yeah everything running smooth brand new bell brand new coil spark plug and I set a new different intake and map location so now We'll try and um, go ahead and give it a drive around the block.
Alright, so taking a little short drive around the block. See how it behaves and so far, so good. But I honestly, honestly can't complain. Um, I can say I'm pretty much done so far. And um, I guess we'll see what, uh, what's, well, you know, what it turns into next. And uh, what I do with it and change uh, in the near future. But for now, we're pretty much done. So we took the car out for a drive. Everything went great. It drove fine no issues whatsoever looking forward for the tune and i guess we're gonna leave the video here but stay tuned because i got a nice little treat some of you guys were waiting for this so be on the lookout for the next video as always like comment and subscribe don't forget about that see you on the next one